Good morning and welcome to Stamping and Crafting with Cheryl Diana. Today I'm going to show you some of our, um, our scenic design series papers. One that's available on as an online exclusive and one that is going to be in the new annual catalogue that goes live on the 1st of May. So <coughs> Stamping Up does some wonderful scenic and papers and they're ideal to make quick and easy cards for, for any occasion. So let's go and have a look at these papers. So the first one I'm going to show you is Meandering Meadows. It is, there is 48 sheets and they're six by six. So as, as you can see, we've got lovely, sort of like, a bit like a Monet, I think, scene, similar one again. So these are the scenic sides and they are just lovely. So we've got bulbs coming up. Um, daisies that looks like oh I want to say um um delphiniums but they might be irises because they're smudged they just they just um bend in really well and then one that I've already used to make a card has got um yellowy daisies in it and on the other side, you have more um, either plain mottled type prints or you have more flowery ones. So, and these are just gorgeous. Okay, but the one set that I absolutely adore is the new one that's coming out. And that is Thoughtful Journey. Again, it's a pack of 48 sheets. And these are just so adorable. I just love the colours of them. It's a, so we've got a nice washed effect there. And these are just, as I said, I really, really love these. I do. So, those sides. And then on the back, they've got some more washed ones. But I love these ones like this, where it just looks as if the ink has just been blown around on it. So, and these were the ones that I did in my pre-order. So we've got that... that sort of fluffy blown effect there and it and then a smoochy type one there and then that is a gorgeous color and then that one and in fact with those also come our memories and more packs well i opened this the other day and i've already lost some of them <coughs> some i've used and and i can't remember where i put the other half of the ones i didn't use so uh, um, our memories and more are a way of memory keeping. So we we have 14 four by three inch cards and they're double sided. So you, so you can decide which way around you want them to go. And some have got sentiments and some haven't. That goes that way around. That is gorgeous. And then we've got this one and that one. And what we have, um, sorry, and let's do the bigger ones first. So then we've got some wording. And we've got that effect, which is gorgeous. That I think will make a lovely mail card. We've got a smoochy one again. And then more of a um, sort of a um, title page. That's another title page. Now this looks similar to the poppy stamp we had years ago. And then there's that one, and then there's a lovely happy birthday one. So what we have found is some of these 
go lovely with these. So you see that paper goes with that card. And some you can even get to match up with with the paper. So, and I had them all sorted like that, but then I got then I tidied up. So that one nearly quite goes with it. But you see how you could have a bigger sheet and then a smaller sheet next to it. So they are the memories of more. So I'm going to show you. Hi, Lisa. Morning. So I'm going to show you how to make some really quick and easy cards with these. So first, I'm going to start with the Meandrian Meadows because you can get that one now. And I've got my sick basic white and I love using this colour with them. This isn't a colour that I would normally use, but it, it really pops with these. So I think I'm going to go for that one. So standard card base for us. And as it's a scenic, I'm going to do portrait, I think, because then, then I can get more of this. So I'm going to score at ten and a half. And cut at 14 point. I do 8.5, but 14.9 is fine. It's just that I was taught that when I first started stamping up as a customer, and it's just stuck there. So that's my card base is done. And if you score the whole sheet and then cut it, you've got two, got two card bases made. And then I need a matte layer that is one layer down, so that will be, be 10 centimetres by 14.3 and I'm going to cut two out so then I've got another one to use and we keep this little scrap because it may come in handy for a sentiment or if I'm going to do a card when I use up my scraps so let's be better. so that will go like that I've got pink glitter all over my craft desk at the moment I cleared it up I was making my granddaughter's birthday card and I remembered I'd got some retired stamping up um, glitter card and it wasn't it um, I thought it'd be like our current one that doesn't spread glitter everywhere but it's the old style that spreads glitter everywhere which I can still see bits and I, th I think I'll have glitter everywhere for ages so <coughs> this is a six by six inch piece of card so I'm going to cut it down to nine and a half so I've done one matte layer but I'm coming down two next size down is that size down yeah it's next size down just double check I've got the right width it's nine which if I check because I need to have a space so I'm coming down two matte layer sizes after that and I'll need that to be let's do my quick maths I did work it out but I just want um, I just want to check now um, so yeah 13.3 so I'm going which bit so, so if I've got 13.3 I'm going to cut out cut a bit of this I might cut a bit of the bit of the flowers off so I've got more sky on this one. Okay. And then I'm going to cut it in half. So nine centimetres in half will be four and a half. And then I want to come up there, which is going to be five. Yeah, five. Five cents. So I'm going to cut off five. Five centimetres off of this one at the bottom. And then five centimetres of the top of this one. And then you'll see when I lay it out. Get it the right way around. So 
it's going to look like this. Like that. Whoops. So then we can stick it down. <coughs> hey, Elaine. Good morning. I've actually got sun outside today. Yesterday, I think we had every type of season that was going. We had thunder. We had rain. We had hail, sleet, sun. And living on the edge of the fence, the sky just kept changing so often. Just put that as checked out. Just check I've, got, I've left enough space there. Just come over a smidge. Now, I like multi-purpose glue because I can wiggle it a bit. So if, I, if I'm not happy with it, I can just sort of wiggle it slightly before the glue sets. Whereas if... Whereas it, um, if I use tape and I get make a mistake lining it up, which I think I find hard because I wear glasses, so it's like slightly, um, and it makes it slightly hard hard to line them up. And I could use a ruler, but I don't. And then that one can go there. Now, I don't spread loads of glue. I just do an edge around each piece. And do this one. So if you make up a batch of cards like these, you can then add whatever sentiment you want. I did one at, um, at the weekend for somebody who's in hospital. That's not the right way around. Okay, I've got my pictures run the wrong way. I, I can see I've got a tree there, but not this. So let's not worry about that. Let's, let's have another go. So that piece, find that piece again. What's the flower? Yellow flower. Right. It's that one, right? Yes. So let's have another go. So I need it thirteen point three. No, no. Oh, get my measurements wrong again. Right, nine by thirteen point three. And then want to cut that in four and a half. Right. And I'm going to cut that five up. Right, so that goes that side. And this bit, I'll cut a bit off the top. That five. I'm going to put it this side. So hopefully I won't get them muddled up. But what I could do is add a sentiment in the middle so you wouldn't notice it so much. So this one is going to go that side. It's a tree that side. And that goes there. That's right. That looks better. I kept thinking that one looked a little bit odd. But I can't work it out. So that's good. that looks better. So I'll stick this. Like so. So as I said, the new catalogue goes live on the 1st of May. And my catalogues I'm planning to get out this week to all my customers. 
So if you want one, uh, if you go to my website, which is going across, um, across, um, across the bottom of the screen, um, you you can re request the catalogue there. So my customers that have ordered from me in the last six months will get their own copy. And then remember, if you do place a Stampin' Up! order through my shop, um, you will get a free tutorial, which, which has got 11 different tutorials. And if you place an order over £45, you not only get the free tutorial, but you get another free um, um, another free one that is more advanced. So the... Um, the first one, that's very quick and simple cards to make because it's one sheet, um, it's one page of, um, it is one page of instructions and the other one can be like, um, it can be as long, as long as you want it. <coughs> <coughs> so there is my card. Just score. And we can stick it on here. And sometimes I, f I feel these don't need the sentiment because they're just so pretty on their own. Yeah. So here we go. And that's that one finished. So I made one with those papers. Let's use the new ones that, that are absolutely scrummy. And I am going to try and use up my pack my packs of paper because I am a terrible hoarder for buying lots of the same pack and then having it it it, it sat in the box. So I'm going to use I quite like I quite like that one. It's smudgy. And then I think I think we will do one like that. And then I think I think I'll make three cards with this set. Because these are really, really nice. Oh, Let's look at the backs of them and see if I can use it with one of these. Definitely use it. Definitely use it with that one. That one's too dark. Right, use those ones. Yeah. So I'm going to start with this one. This time I'm going to use Pretty Peacock to pick up this colour. Just check it's going to look nice with that. Yeah, I think it does look nice with that. So, that's a bit, uh, where's my, here's my card? I've already got one card base there. So let's cut this up. <coughs> Bye, Lisa. So, I need I want a standard mat layer, which is 10 centimetres by 14.3. I cut two. On the side, and then we'll cut this one. Same measurements again. So, nine. Now, do I want that side to show more? So we look. I want that side to show more. Or do I want this side to show more? This is where it, I think I'll go for that. Let's be different. Let's go for this side. I've got two in each. Uh, no, I've got four in each pack, so I've got plenty of time. These papers are just lovely. Now, do I 
So I've got to cut off five centimeters. Probably gonna, I'm probably gonna, probably gonna keep that bit, but it come from, but come from, from the bottom. I forgot to cut it in half first. Alright, let's cut in half. So put that one on that side, so I don't forget. And let's do it the other way around with a shorter top this side. And then the longer top on the other side. Now, seeing those, I've cut them wrong again. Right, that's fine. We will. I need the bigger card, so I forgot to cut them down. I'm making so many mistakes today. So let's see if it will fit. I do with this one. So let's change it slightly, but we'll do it on the on the white. I think. So that will be smaller. That's what we'll do. <coughs> do I want that to go like that? No, I want I want the blue sky. So I'm going to do that and that, and then this is going to be at, let's work them on out, if that's four, five, if I make it three, then I've cut two off the end. So that, that'll go there. That one now, I need to match it up now, so that goes to there. So, I need to cut two off of that end, I think that will do it. If not, we'll start again. So that should fit. Yeah, that does fit like that. That does. It's good. Okay. So, I'm just wondering if it'll still fit on here. I just like it on the white, but I'm wondering if the pretty peacock looks better with it like that. I think that just pops that paper more. Okay, so we're doing different size sizes on each bit now, but that but that doesn't matter. So, this one. So. <coughs> there we go. Do this one like so, and then. one there. Uh, even with them be um, being a different size, it still looks really good. So then you can pop that onto that card. So these, uh, and as I said, these are really quick and simple cards to make. Yeah. So, 
so. And then we can either have have a square sentiment <coughs> or I have also got which I think it, I, I think it's in our current is it in our current one? But it's definitely in the new one. I'm wondering if it's in the mini. Wonderful thoughts. And it is lovely. Is it on here? It's not in the mini. So it, there's the current one. Current annual. What's under there? So. Or it may even. No. Won't be. It's it's in the current one and it's carrying over into the new one, which is really good because each of these sentiments you can let me just find the page and I'll show you which ones. So as you, as you see, all of these have got a tip it up a bit, have got a line white background that means that all of them can be cut using the dies <coughs> so we could have so this is quite good um it's got you can do you can do you can do um, amazing things thinking of you my heart will always be tied to yours hi friend thanks you've come so far and accomplished so much then um then there then there's then there's congratulations and hello and and you're wonderful you're loved you matter um i'll listen to your silence when words are just too much you are much appreciated so happy that you are my person this is only the beginning of a life filled with love and i like this one it's okay to fall apart i'm still here for you so this is very good if there's somebody going through a bad situation and these are the dies and you see, I haven't put them on to my magnetic sheet yet because I only used them the other night. <coughs> I have, so let's use, which one should we use? I'll listen to your side. Well, so as it's a brand new photopolymer, I give it a quick clean on my stamp and scrub just to get any dust and bits off that might be on it when it's manufactured. So, give that one. And I think we'll use the Pretty Peacock. And I need, I keep all my white scraps in a little receipt folder so when I want one to fit is it going to fit on that one? Oh, it'll definitely fit on that one it fit on that one yeah. so all my little off cups and that I have in this little wallet by me well, it's, a, it's a big wallet so if I need, need a sentiment or a scrap I've got it so let's close that up and put that away. Because as you know, if my desk is too messy, I cannot find stuff. <coughs> so, pick it up. I need my stamping mat, which is covered in glitter as well. I will stamp that like that. So 
So I could have it as a square, but I actually think if we have it now, that's that's why I had the catalogue out because I've still got to work out which um, dies go with which stamp set. So I need it to look. That's the only thing that, I, that I'm struggling with this is I don't know which one goes with which sentiment. Is it that one? No. Ah, oh, is, is it this one? Yes. So, and they just go over the words. So I need a bit of washi tape because I don't have a, um, a, um, a magnetic board. And then I put it on my clothing to, to take off a bit of the stickiness. So this is old, old washi tape stamping up did. And then I'll just put it down that side there. And I can use either, either my mini um, 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 cut and emboss or, or my big one. So these sentiments are, are ideal if you're going away and you can just pop your, um, um, your mini one into a little bag with these and you'll have sentiments. And that has cut it out like so. And that we can just pop on here. Where, where do I do it? I think I might just pop it down here. <coughs> now I'm going to use the mini dot because I think they will fit better than cutting the bigger ones. In fact, I'm just wondering, I'm just going to try something else out. That one that I made a mistake on, that one, you could put that in there or there, and you wouldn't notice it so much. But that's wrong. That's an idea. Well, we'll do it on this one first. So. So I'm going to raise it up, give it some dimension. And it'll go like so. In fact, let's have a bit, let's have, let's have a bit of baker's twine on it. From the essentials pack, so I'm thinking if we go for the white, and I'm terrible with baker's twine because it's not all not always my friend. So I'm, I think I'm going to do a double bow. So, and then I'm going to put that tighter. I'm going to put that to the side there, I think. <coughs> now I'm using glue dots from <clears throat> my kids because my daughter's got my glue dots to do her wedding menu um cards and that so we spent last thursday i was cutting and adding them to cardstock and then she's going to have the names on in vellum which is why she needed the glue dots because glue dots are, are good good for attaching vellum and then she's going to have a seal on top of it 
because she's been using um, her wax seals on all her stuff. So once she's married, which is the end of May, I'll then be, a be, then be able to show you what we've been doing. But she doesn't want any anybody else to see the stuff, so so it doesn't spoil. I mean, it doesn't spoil their surprise. So come on, blue dot. So I'll put that. Put that. Let me put that there. And then score it. And there's that card. But I like that with that one there. So let's play with the one that didn't turn out right. <coughs> so um, let's do thinking of you. Just clean that one off. And what I like about our stamp sets is you can you can actually stick them back um, onto the, the um, then they'll have a backing on the inside. They print it of what the stamps look like, so, so it makes it easier for you to see which ones you've got and if you've lost any or whatever. So there's my child. I I work in a mess and I lose stuff. There it is. Can't drop that. I think he. I think if I had a bigger um, desk, I would still get messy with it. So what's this one? This is only the beginning. Let's go for that one. In the that there, I think. Oh, what else have I got? That is the biggest one, so we can put that there. I'm going to use the. Let's put that one back. Crushed curry, which is not a colour I would usually usually use, which is why it's at the very bottom of my pile of Regal's ink pads. But it actually goes well with these papers. It's so. Um, so so well with them so we need another scrap of is it bigger scrap here's my bigger scraps is that going to fit on there yes that will fit on there right so that block And again, I'm going to give it a quick wipe on the stamp and scrub. There we go. <coughs> and then ink it. Use some crushed curry. And stamp it. Like so. Put that there. Now we'll clean it before we pop before we do anything else because I know I'm going to end up getting ink everywhere. Put that up there. Now, find the dice for this one. It's going to be a big one. There we go. There. This is that one. That's good. So where's my... Where's my other little sheet of... There it is for the other die. So I can use that washi tape again. Put that one back here. And then we'll die cut that one. So, 
Yeah, that looks really, that looks good like that now. I'm, I don't think I want to use any twine with that, but I know I put somewhere and I bet I don't, I bet I can't find it. I used to have some baker's twine that was retired. Yeah. I used to have some crushed curry baker's twine. I ended up having two packs of it. Oh, just realised I've got two packs of the baker's twine um, and basic ones. <coughs> so I'm wondering if have I got a crushed curry? There's no crushed curry blend. I um, and I was thinking if if we had a blend, I could have coloured it. But we don't in that colour and the ink won't dry in time. So we won't do anything with that yet. I I can always add it later. So again we're going to stick stick this on with um pads. Mini ones. I think I might cut one in half for this bit here. So let's cut one in half. Like so. That comes a fiddly bit. That's, it, that's there. That's there. I think I might cut another one and just put it there. So, put that one there, and we'll put that little one down there, and then all oh, these will be fitted to put off the, because they're small, they'll be fitted to put, to put off the back in, um, bit, so teeny. Now, as I said before, and on one of my Tuesday tips, if you do struggle to work out which ones have had had um, had the backing taken off, you can always get a marker pen, felt tip pen, and literally just grab a pen or a black one or a highlighter. I've got a highlighter around here. No, so you can literally just then just do a line like that, let it dry, and then you'll see where the um paper's not been um I'm not been taken off. But but with these lights, I I can see which ones haven't. Come on, because you can see, can you see that one. That one that's a little, you can see the light reflected off of that one, but not that one. Right, oops. There we go. Static. Now we're going to pop that there. There we go. Pop these away because they, these will go everywhere. And you find them all, all over the house, stuck to places. Right. So I need another card base. Let's cut one. <coughs> so score it first. 
and then cut it. There we go. Okay. Down like this. And then pop it on. Card face. There we go. So we've made three cards today. We have. And just pop this up a bit. And I wanted to show you what I was doing the other night when I lost half my, my um um oh, my mem memories and more cards. Um, this is for a scrapbook blog hop that's going live at four o'clock tomorrow morning. So here I have used that back um of on the back of the um, papers here. Um, <clears throat> and then this is one one of the mem Memories and More cards, and this is a, the smaller one. Um, you, The stamp set is a lovely stamp set, and it's got butterflies, so I am really pleased. <coughs> it It's one I got um, when I... One I got when when I when I when I was it in Rotterdam, and on the Thursday night we had a after hours session where we got a stamp set, uh, dies, papers, the baker's twine, and um, we got to make 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 some cards with it. So next week I will show you the cards that we made using this stamp and this stamp. But it's got a lovely hatched stamp and a lovely dotty one. I didn't think I would like like the stamps as much, so I I originally went for the dies because these are lovely. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, ten, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, twelve, and it ranges from having a lined effect. One that I would call like little leaves, a dash and a dot, and you've got one. You, you've got four in each in each pattern. So we will get 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 to use those at some point. Um, thank you, Elaine. I did love doing it. It um it was based. On a sketch that we've got that we had to do for that um, um, for this blog hop, so, so I just changed it slightly. My um, photo layers and my journaling was is black cardstock, and I've used the white gel pen around it. There's my little baker's twine bow, and my little. Um, um, sentiment because I'm thinking of putting some pictures of my husband Steve and I from my daughter's wedding when the photographer does it and also I'm really really pleased these butterflies are in the mini catalog and they have carried over so I am so so pleased they are paper but um but they've but they're die cut already and you can either use them on their own or they blend lovely. So for this, I used sponge daubers and just dabbed it into into the ink pad and then just um, sort of smooched it over it. But I love how that turned out. Let's put that over there. So let's... Let's just so um I'm doing two offers next um sort of from now on until the end of May. One is my in colour club where for forty five pounds a month I um that 
each month for five months, you will get one of the in color pads. You'll get some cardstock. You'll get the matching des de matching designer series paper. You'll get the blend, the stamp right marker, and some ribbon. <coughs> and then some gems. The um, sign up form is on my web web page under shop. And also, I am going to be doing a paper share as well, which is £40, and you get a quarter pack of the 12 by 12 papers and the 6 by 6 papers in the new annual, new annual catalogue. And that's, again, the link for that is on my web page um, under shop. So... So um, that's all it today. My desk is a mess again, as it always is. Um, if you have any questions, you can either email me on my website or um, message me on, um, on, um, on my Facebook group. Um, and, and as mentioned, if you want things like the tutorials and my blog hop and also my retired products that's available on my website as well and there is a link on my website to my stepping up shop where if you place an order this month well if you place an order this month you will get a free tutorial and if you place an order that's 45 pound or above you will get an extra free tutorial so until next time, happy stamping and crafting and take care. Bye.